so easy and so many marks go with these guys but take note it may not come as straightforward as it is it might be a storyline to it but i'll show you how to break those things down don't worry next video okay um two times two and so on what are the numbers i can see here i can see a two i can see a three i can see a five and i can see a seven and all of those numbers must appear in my lcm where do i have the highest congregation of twos i mean i've got two times two here almost the same thing here same thing here i'll just pick one of them anyway two times two ignore the others where do you have the highest congregation of threes? If you could just one place, please. So just write three. Go on with it. How many places have I got the well it's just five times five because that's the only highest congregation of fives you've got. Five times five. And then you've got just one seven appear in there, so seven. LCM therefore is a multiplication of all of this. Two times two, four. Four times three, twelve. Twelve times three, sixty. Sorry, 12 times 5, 60. <laughs> 60 times 5 is 300. And 300 times 7. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly do that for you. When you have 300 times 7, all you need to do, understand that when you've got any number of zeros behind something, just keep those zeros there already. They're waiting for you. They're going nowhere. 3 times 7 is 21. So that's your answer. 2, 1, 0, 0. Now this is the least common multiple of these guys. Can you imagine how large that is? But the message it's telling us is no other number lower than this can be divisible by all of these numbers conveniently. So this is the lowest common multiple for which all of this can be multipliers. All right. So, um, if we go back to the other question, if I can find it, um, who, who took my papers? Did you come here? Oh, no, you didn't. I found it. There it is. So, what's happening? All right. Um, okay. If you remember very vividly, this question was given to us earlier by me. And I was asking you to arrange these in order of magnitude. Was it this one? Yeah. I wanted to know which is the lowest and I was telling you that they have to be on the same platform. They have to be on the same level. You cannot find out which is bigger unless they are standing on the same level. So how do we do that? First thing to do, find the LCM of 2, 4, 3, 6 and 11. Let's do that, shall we? So again, here's the question. Arrange these in order of magnitude increasing magnitude i mean increasing magnitude okay um one over two three over four two over three five over six and nine over eleven these five numbers okay first thing to do find so solution and it's it's just simple find the LCM. When you get the LCM, put those guys on the same level and look at the numerators and compare. So, find the LCM of 2, 4, 3, 6, and 11. Same way we did all the other ones is the same way we can do this, guys. But I, I'm looking at it as, it's not going to be difficult because this is already a prime number. <laughs> this is going to be divisible by 2 you get a 2 and another 2 gives you a 1 3 times 2 duh everyone knows 3 is a prime number already so it just goes 2 is divisible by two, 6 is divisible by 2 gives you a 3 and a 3 goes in that to give you a 1 duh 6 is 2 times 3 <laughs> 11 is a prime number anyway so we don't expect any other thing else to go into it so if 2 gives you 2, if 4 gives you 2 times 2, if 3 gives you 3, if 6 gives you 2 times 3, uh oh, sorry, and 11 gives you 11, what will be the LCM of these guys? How many, what are the numbers I can see here? I can see 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 